a lot of times in life, I think why we don't proceed with a lot of our goals, um, we don't proceed with our dating ambitions is because we just haven't gotten to that point where we accepted rejection and we accepted failure. One of my favorite speeches of all time is Denzel Washington's. Um, he gave a college commencement speech in terms of this whole notion of failing forward um, that you can apply into life where you are going to fail, but instead of looking at it as a setback, look of it as you're actually progressing, moving forward in life because, you know, what school teaches you, they penalize you for failing or making one mistake. But in reality, life's not like that. You know, you're going to fail a lot in life and everything. You know, that's just a given. There's no, um, you know, going around that. And I think if you come to a point where you accept that and you don't let that hold you back, but instead learn from it and then keep on moving forward, then pretty much you'll become unstoppable. Um, when it comes to women, this is, this is why guys, I think, are afraid of approaching uh, working on their dating lives is because they're afraid of rejection. They take it personally. They think there's something wrong with them. Now, we can always improve ourselves to get better, to up our chances, but it doesn't matter who you are. Everybody gets rejected. You know, everybody gets flaked on. Um, same thing in business. If you're an aspiring entrepreneur, you know, don't hide from failure. Lean into it. Um, try to fail as quick quickly as you can. Learn from it. Take that experience and move on to the next thing. So I think that if you have this notion, if you look at failure and kind of change your mindset about it, instead of being afraid of it, um, looking forward to it, looking forward to it, meaning that like accepting that it's going to happen, but in, but instead of setting you back, take the learning points from it and then apply it again. You know, don't make the same mistakes because that's the definition of insanity. But learn from it and then go out, try it again. The great thing about life is you have an unlimited amount of uh, chances, you know, and like, for example, approaching girls, you know, there's no limit in terms of the amount of girls that you can approach. You can only, you only place that limit on yourself. Same thing in business. Um, and again, this can be in every area of your life. Let's say in career, um, job applications. If this didn't work out, you didn't get the promotion. Okay, maybe there's somewhere else that will give you that promotion. Again, we have an unlimited amount of tries. It's just that we place limitations on ourselves. And I think it's more so of believing yourself in this mindset or this skill you're a failure. But if you can accept rejection, if you can accept failure, it's not going to kill you. You know, you're, it's not the end of the world. It will literally give you an abundance of opportunities that you can have that framework going forward. And again, when I say unstoppable, that doesn't mean that you're not going to fail again, but you're not going to let failures and rejection stop you. And again, it's kind of in anything to a degree, it is a numbers game. So again, the more at bats, the more tries that you give, eventually you're going to hit it and you're going to then forget about all those failures. And then people are going to be like, oh, how did you become an overnight success? Or, you know, how did you become so lucky? when you just didn't give up and you just kept on at bat you kept on trying learning getting better trying learning getting better boom it's going to hit so we talk a lot about this guys in my course if you're interested get in touch with me if you found this video of some value please like and subscribe to the channel and once again thanks for watching the video and i'll talk to you guys in the next one